Hi, and welcome to the third episode of True Reveal. I am your host, Zuli Kaliahia. True Reveal is an investigative program where our TV results journalists investigate about hot issues and matters that affect us nowadays. In this episode, True Reveal continues its journey about the halal status of Black Pearl. Our TV news journalists will reveal the halal status of Coolblock, an international brand which specialized in deserts and beverages. This type of bubble tea drinks had dragged attention in the eyes of our society regardless of age or a young adult. And drink like this is very popular in countries such as Korea, Taiwan and China. The pearl mostly used in tea is taken from those countries and due to that factors, the pearls that consist in the drinks difficult to get halal certification from Jaki. Bubble tea is also known as black pearl, pearl milk tea, tapioca tea or boba tea. Bubble tea drinks in Taiwan exist since 1980s and then continued known across East Asia, US, Europe, Australia and throughout Asia. Although this drink was invented in Taiwan 30 years ago, bubble tea still continues to grow and gain widespread popularity around the world non-stop. Now, bubble tea has become a phenomenon for consumers. Bubble tea will be included in product drinks to add delight taste of the drink due to it elastic and soft as jelly. There is an allegation saying that the black pearl in the drinks consists the element of gelatin. How far the truth was? Gelatin can function as a gel, a whipping agent to form foam, a thickener, or an emulsifier in certain food product. If a substance is added with gelatin, it will remain as we persist. But without gelatin, the substance with melt and turns to rough texture. Gelatin consists of three types. Gelatin type A, pig skin. Gelatin type B, bovine animals such as cow, goat and buffalo. Gelatin type C, plants such as seaweed. Although the company took the gelatin from gelatin type B, which is bovine animals, they should concern the aspect of slaughtering too. If the slaughtering aspect not following the Islam way, it considered as forbidden for Muslim. Usually, bubble is produced from tapioca flour. What is the current status about this popular bubble product? Is it halal or not? As mentioned, the product is produced from tapioca flour to get the chewy taste. If the tapioca flour also get the halal certificate, that means the bubble is halal to consume in the drink. Refer to the list on Jakim website, there is only one company that consume bubble in their drink to get the halal certificate which is Coolblock. Spearheaded by Coolblock Dessert Sendrian Bahat, it is an international brand that specializes in desserts and beverages in a takeaway kiosk concept with most affordable price. Their first launch in Singapore in 2005 and the next four years they entered the Malaysia market. According to his business operation manager, Mohammad Daniel Koh Abdullah, until now Coolblock has going over 250 branches in Malaysia and Heliza Helmi is the official Coolblock ambassador. The product has 25 different flavours available for their customer. The, the product ni orang kata chocolate lah kebanyakannya yang customer suka. Ha, tapi di samping chocolate selain yang lain-lain pun nak ada juga lah kan. Kebanyakan kat sini macam staff kat sini ah dari tarikan dia orang buat ni agak clean staff ni untuk macam smoothie, smoothie macam coklat tu kan boleh perbagaikan tau dia bukan coklat je. Kita boleh buat roti, boleh buat smoothies. Ha. jadi macam tu juga perasa-perasa lain. Macam yang buah-buahan, kopi pun macam tu juga. Smoothies, smoothies. Ah macam tu lah. Dan ikutlah pula nanti pada customer punya ni. Ah customer punya minat kan. Okey contohnya macam ah mocha cappuccino tu kan. Mix dengan mocha. Lepas tu buat pula smoothies ha, Memang sekarang dah dapat tambutan Jadi kita sebagai staff pun Kena pandai untuk recommend kat customer Benda yang kata rasa yang betul-betul boleh ni Dan customer pun akan ingat dia punya rasa kan ha, 
Contohnya macam sekarang kita punya yang terbaru teh tarik kan, teh tarik blended. Okey, kita buatkan smoothies ataupun buatkan milkshake. Jadi dia ada lagi tambahan flavor dan rasa lain kan. Ha, jadi dia lagi tambah sedap lah. Ha, kalau boleh kata kakak sini memang dapat sebutan lah teh tarik sekarang yang terbaru. We are now talking about uh, how we how Kublok can manage to get their halal certificate from Chakim. Okay. Actually, uh, from, from what we know, if, if uh, any any client or any customer check in the website of uh, www.jakim.gov.com.mine, they can only found the uh, Kublok the only one that is certified halal by Jakim. Uh, we managed to get the halal certificate because uh, one thing is every product that we brought in either locally or from overseas, uh, mainly from Taiwan, we will get the halal certificate from the manufacturer. Okay, From there, when the product are in our factory, we will double uh, check, we will send to Jakim again for the halal certificate. Uh, which is belong to our own company which is uh, Jixing dot uh, Jixing uh, under Jixing company our main company so this uh, when we talking about halal uh, most a lot of people will argue about the bubbles whether is it halal or not is it contained of uh, gelatin is it is it safe to be consumed or is it uh, if you eat too much it will make a big ball inside your stomach so what we did is uh, we go for lab test lab test is uh, to identify whether the the bubbles contain of how any bacteria okay any minerals inside the bubbles and thirdly is uh, un unidentified uh, substance which I mentioned just now is uh, about the gelatin gelatin if you if, if not mistaken it is consists of uh, three three type of gelatin which is one is not halal which is from the pig pig uh, element the second one is from other other animal which is like cow sheep uh, which we consider as a bromine you know bromine uh, the third one is from plants which uh, there is one plant that that uh, when you extract it will give you uh, something substance like gelatin so uh, our pearl uh, basically we don't have uh, gelatin so much because we, we are made from uh, tapioca flour uh, brown sugar and raw sugar so basically the issue of uh, gelatin is not so much in uh, our pearl uh, and then the, for the pearl category uh, we have three type of pearl we have small size medium size large size okay for public information okay the the, the large one the large one uh, so far is not certified halal no, anybody that consume the the big pearls uh, is is not uh, certified halal because when you make the cooking, the middle part of the of the pearl is not cooked. So any uncooked substance also considered non halal by Jakim. So when you eat, make sure the pearl is hundred percent cooked. This means uh, you can feel the kekenyalan, the the what? Apa tu? The, the the springy the springy uh, chewy type of pearl you know and it, it must be fully cooked okay industry uh, the selling of the pearl is a dramatic drop because uh, everybody thought that uh, everyone is using the same pearl but uh, they they must not forget that uh, in Taiwan there is a lot of manufacturer that that uh, selling a lot of type of pearl. In fact, uh, I will assure you that Kublok only take those 
product from Taiwan which is uh, safety to be consumed and is halal. The halal is certified by the uh, Islamic body in Taiwan which is uh, one of the certified uh, body that uh, Jakim guarantee. This means Jakim have no problem in the issue if we get the halal from this body. Okay, this agency. Secondly, the, 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 the sales is dropping because uh, customer is very cautious about what they eat now. Okay? But I can assure you, uh, if you want to check with Poolblog regarding the certificate, the 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 or, or the what is it the 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 as, the aslian sijil, rumojurukan, you can always find in uh, our website or Jackie website or you can find in uh, our face, Facebook official fan, fan page okay uh, I hope that uh, after after this this uh, this few weeks after the fasting month you know everybody will come back to continue to, to buy cool block with the bubbles because if you drink cool block Without bubble, you cannot feel the the nature, the magical taste of the kublok. The drink will be not complete without bubbles because uh, we have a lot of regular customer which drink kublok. They insist to have bubbles. Without bubbles, they don't want to buy the drinks. So, for for my own self as a Kublok spokesman. Uh, I hope that uh, the customer will not hesitate, tanpa perasaan was was, untuk datang beli, uh, to come to Kublok, to come to consume back what they craving for. Okay, pasal produk kira produk Kublok ni daripada segi bukan full je lah daripada segi dia punya tea daripada segi dia punya powder jus memang dah dapat kira sikit halal daripada Jagdik sendiri dan sebenarnya kita ni dia punya produk ni setiap 3 bulan sekali akan hantar ke makmal untuk uji kaji aa, sama ada aa, apa orang kata kandungan di dalam kita punya aa, produk ni semua sebenarnya memang halal satu lagi macam pearl baru-baru ni ada masalah kan kiranya Tapi sebenarnya pearl block ni pearl tak ada masalah Dan dah dapat pengesahan daripada Jakim daripada kisah pun memang tak ada Either we know or do not know The aspect that we should concern is not all about the status of the halal of the product But we need to concern about the aspect of health as well According to the current issue about the malic acid that consists in the bubble Malic acid is not an approved additive it is also an additive that is usually used in manufacturing food products and long-term consumption of high levels of malic acid can cause kidney damage. However, occasional consumption at the levels detected does not pose any significant health risk. The hot topic is about malic acid. Malic acid is something which if you consume too much, it will cause your kidney to be uh, misorder. That means uh, you uh, had a very bad kidney problem and you will uh, you have a uh, little chance to live on, you see. So what happened is, uh, the, the, the news is uh, begin in Singapore, okay, which started in uh, Black Ball Restaurant, which is selling a Taiwan dessert. Uh, from there, the news spread into Malaysia uh, because uh, Malaysia also we have a lot of uh, black ball restaurant and then we have uh, a lot of uh, ice blended restaurant which is based on Taiwan product. So recently, uh, the issue is caused and the Kementerian Kesihatan already ident identified which is only two company are. Uh, seriously uh, detected which their product uh, the pearl is contained of uh, malic acid uh, which is uh, if, if you all can know from the news the 
company involved is uh, Chat Time and Each a Cup. Each a Cup already come out a uh, apology statement uh, in the Facebook and in the newspaper. But uh, Chat Time so far we do not know any status yet. But uh, to convince the customer, who block, we already uh, declare ourselves the safe to be consumed. And our promise is uh, our product all are safe and to be consumed uh, by the customer. Okay. So, uh, seperti tu tak ada kandungan yang apa yang kata membahayakan buah pinggah tu kan? Asid tu, asid meli tu kita punya pel tak ada kandungan tu. Sebab tu kita punya pel uh, dekat dekat kap kita pun memang dia ada tulis dekat situ boleh bertahan selama berapa jam dia untuk dekat dalam ni kan? Okay. Kalau pel yang problem ni dia walaupun sehari dua hari ke dia tetap nampak cantik dia tetap nampak bulat cantik lah kita punya pel memang tak boleh tahan dalam air selama berapa ada dia punya ni lah kalau dia dalam dua jam lah macam tu ha, sebab tu kadang kita punya pel datang pun kadang ada yang kadang tu ada yang hancur kan ha, tak boleh nak buka tetap tapi kalau pel yang bermasalah ni dia memang akan cantik dia datang sebelum masak pun memang dia akan sentiasa cantik ha, jadi untuk kandungan yang tak halal tak ada kita dah dapat pengesahan daripada Jakim dan macam tahun lepas pun kan kita ada dapat uh, hal dekat Halfest kan uh, kita ada dapat penerapan tu dan direbut yang terbaik lah uh, dapat dua rebut yang terbaik untuk pada dekat Halfest tahun lepas Do the user is aware of the fact that drinks also need halal and health certificate to operate? If they know, did they know what aspect might the drinks halal and healthy? In a while, if they do not know or not sure, why they still purchase? Um, are you a big fan of Cool Block? Not to say a big fan, but I like I like the taste of the uh, of the drink, and I like to buy it. Why? Compared to another drinks like Gongcha and oh. Cha Time. Compared to other brands for selling these types of drinks uh, this one is much more cheaper you can get a price of 3 ringgit compared to other stuff double we, we need to play we need to pay double oh yeah mm, have you heard about the issue of the gelatin Gel is it halal or not yeah uh, it's i heard last year when for this, I drink also uh, pearl tea, but from a Taiwanese company. But and then I stopped when I heard this issue. But when Cool Block start, uh, Cool Block entered, I started the business. I I started to enjoy again pearl tea. What convinced you to buy the Cool Block? Um, simple, uh, Heliza, Heliza, Heliza. What yeah. kind of image, Heliza? Contribute to the Kill Block? She's an artist, she's a celebrity uh, moving towards the Muslim Islamic side, so I have no doubt that uh, Kill Block is, whether Kill Block is halal or haram. Uh, so, as a Muslim, mm -hmm. how far are you concerned about the halal of the gelatin? Uh, of course, I'm concerned, but I didn't get went too far to. I did Google stuff before I drink, but but to me the image itself, what Cool Block, cool block brings, that how they portray themselves with their model Heliza and then their workers, mostly of them are female, female Muslim. So I have no doubt uh, buying Cool Block. As a Muslim, we should know if we should have that is a cure hesitation whether a food is halal or haram. We need to keep or prevent ourselves from consuming. With the concept of halal to even, each food should be clean and pure from suspicious things. And remember, not just food that should be kept, even halal drinks should also be emphasized. Therefore, the user must be careful in making choice. Make sure it has a well recognized halal logo from Jackie. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Assalamualaikum. Thank you for watching this episode of Truth Reveal. I am your host, Zuli Kal Yahya. See you again next time in another episode of Truth Reveal, which more issues to come.
Thank you.